Zalafona here with Mario to test out if Super Heavy Samurai are ready for new support and ready to kind of take another spot, another step towards the meta. Because if they can beat Cyber Dragon, that's a good sign for them. So here we go. I haven't played a ton of Cyber Dragon recently, but I say that every time I play Cyber Dragon. So when can it finally stop being an excuse? So we're gonna find yeah. out. Yeah. So one thing I am worried about in this matchup, which is my biggest concern, is not your Cyber Dragon Infinity. I have like multiple cards I can get around it, but mm -hmm. it's the it's the fact that I'm already a machine, meaning you can use my monsters for your fusions. Yes. So I need to play around that. I wanted to face against Cyber Dragons because I feel like. That's going to be, like, the biggest challenge, I feel like. Because if you're facing a machine deck, they're going to slide in, like, a Cyber Dragon just for that sake. I feel like in a lot of decks. Mm. Definitely. What shall I do here? Add another light machine. Yes, yes. I think I've already misplayed, but that's okay. We'll keep going. How to make this work. Well, we could just go for my level fives and make that play happen. I have enough pieces for it, certainly. Considering, what did I do wrong? I don't know. As you were talking, I was just kind of going through my plays with Noxter and Harris. But regardless, let's move. And sure, let's just go for the, the easy and this, choice of cards. This is kind of a return for form for you as well, actually. Because it's like, if I remember correctly, uh, you haven't played Cyber Dragon in a, in a while, actually. It's been me. That's my catchphrase, yeah. I know, I know. But I've been the one playing it, that's why. Yes, very much so. Um, I still have my normal summon, so we can go a little further. Yeah, I'm just gonna fully extend this as far as it goes. Why not? Turn one Cyber Dragon, normally not something people are excited about, but we'll do it. Sure, that sounds fun. Um, we can then normal summon our hairs, which is weird for hairs, but I start off with two of them. And activate our Galaxy Soldier to get another one of those out. So, plenty of things here. And we can go into our Cyber Dragon Nova. Actually, we're going to want to start with Seeger. How about that? Boop, boop. Lovely. Now we will go into Nova. Boop, boop. And I believe Nova's effect will be valid here, so... Let's see. Banish one Cyber Dragon from our hand. Nope, don't want to do that effect. What I want to do is, yeah, special summon the extra Cyber Dragon. There we go. Doing my effects correctly. Now, is there any benefit to getting any of these particular ones doing? They've already all been kind of special summoned here. Um, so, let's just get a regular Cyber Dragon out here. Why not? So, didn't need to extend my entire hand to get these plays moving, but maybe we did. Maybe we need to go pretty far. So, there we go. We have that going. We can get to a, a nice, lovely infinity. And if this was a turn two, this would be an OTK field. Um, but it's turn one, and here I am. Ending my turn. All right. You son of a sea turtle. <laughs> I didn't even start with him, by the way. I didn't even start with him. I just... You're top deck to Gamsiel, man. <laughs> <laughs> I top deck Gamsiel. I was looking like, okay, so what are my well options? Done. I have I have this card, I have this card, and then I just draw... And this is, okay, well, that the deck kind of answers what I'm going to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, reason kaiju work well with Super Heavy Samurai is Battle Ball. You use the Battle Ball with your opponent's mm -hmm. levels to make your own monsters, so. It's valid, it's strong, it's a good choice. Speaking up, by the way. I do love it when kaijus can be mixed into decks and actually get full benefit out of it. Yeah, because now I will... Rather than just getting rid of opponent's problems. Actually, what I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna do the that one in order okay. to get my warlord out. Yes, there's an owo. Huge. And I'm going to steal. Oh. Bless you. Sorry. I'm gonna steal mm -hmm. one of your spells and traps and just place it over here. I don't remember sure. if you can use it or not again, but yeah, fair enough to try. I don't think I can use those ones, but. All this well. But I will also... Ooh, and Soul Peacemaker. Ooh. Soul Peacemaker using that one. Now, unfortunately, I cannot use Battle Ball again, I don't think. Yeah. It's once a turn. So I'm not going yep. to... I'm not going to waste another Battle Ball by accident and using that. Okay. Unfortunately, this being Super Heavy Samurai, your uh, Susanoo is pretty safe out here. Mm-hmm. The big old defense. 
In defense mode, obviously. So, I know that you can double, basically go to 42 at any point. Yes. That's what I was hinting at. Yeah, so I do remember that. So... Yeah, I was fully expecting you to run into it, but you're in defense mode anyway, so you wouldn't be losing your big monster. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out my Samurai Scales. Scales will allow me to bring back my Battle Ball. Okay. Still a tuner. Mm-hmm. But I will go beyond Warlord. Oh. To go into Super Heavy Samurai, Brave Musoraru. Okay. Huge. Literally. Don't see him too much. No. Because you already needed to have controlled a level, uh, level 10 monster for me to use Battle Ball for it. Yeah. So very situational. Or, you know, double Battle Balling up like you did. Nice. And you can destroy your other Super Samurai to protect him too. You lovely. Mm hmm. Unfortunately, he doesn't have too much power. Yeah, it's still not an answer for the power threat. But. Hey, you got rid, you got rid of Infinity. <laughs> And you have a wonderful monster on the field that I don't have an immediate answer for. Wait, yes, I do. Get, You gotta do something. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I kind of drew a duplicate hand. I drew multiple copies of, of certain cards. So mm -hmm. I don't have the right cards right now. So unfortunately, I have to yeah. end right there. because I know if I run into your monster, you're just going to power yourself up to 42 and then be safe. That's rough. All right, who's coming to my hand? I think we're going to add a core to the hand in this situation. Core will do exactly what I need to do. So, waiting on you. Maybe that trap card getting tempting. Who knows? No, it's when you activate a spell or trap card, I can activate its effect and draw oh. until I have three cards in a hand. Yeah, I did read that, then didn't really feel threatened by it since you already had two in hand anyway. Okay, so we can do a rev system and then be able to get another infinity out. We could do a Cyberload Fusion and potentially try to get a, uh, a massive um, deal of work out here. Now, considering you have the uh, Brave out there, I think. Hmm. Cards in field or face up banished cards. I haven't really banished anything, so Cyberload Fusion wouldn't be the immediate play. Um, maybe I will just go for a rev system. That'll be good enough for my purposes. Okay, well, let's uh, do the obvious play, I'd say. And go for Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Normally I'd feel guilty about doing this, but you were prepared. So here it goes. Fortress Dragon to the field. Rev system will allow me to bring back, I think. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of, a Fortress Dragon just clearing out my field. Mm -hmm. Is there any reason for me to go for Noxter right here? No, we'll do hers. Activating Harris, he becomes level 5. Why not use him, you know? And then we can go for Nova yet again. Just get the benefits out here. Done with that. And then, of course, we can special summon another Cyber Dragon. Um, Harris has already been used. Or, no, we have to detach, so we'll detach Harris. And special summon, basically, everyone's been used here. So, do I get any benefit of summoning Noxter here? I'm just going to click cards and learn a thing or two about my deck. I know he gets an effect off. Oh, yeah, he can special summon more just like that. Um, ooh, hoo, hoo. Yeah, that's a benefit. So, we'll do that. Bring out infinity like that. Sure. And then, I suppose, go into infinity here. So I have double infinity. Oh. Um, activate this. So they both have material. And that's a field. Never saw you go for double infinity. Yeah, I usually don't summon Noxter like that when I've already lost in infinity. You know, normally you're going to be in a better position than that. But that's all good. You know, I feel like if you would have kept them pieces separated, you probably would have won just attacking with all of them. Yeah, I did, I did my math a little bit wrong there. Not gonna lie. But hey, I was trying to set up cool things. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be able to use my Can Seeger you there, use like, both negates this turn, or can you only use... I don't think I can. 
So it's just a situation of if you have a kaiju, I'm still good. Yeah, you can only... Um, I only run the one kaiju. Turn. I feel like running another one would be kind of annoying. Depending, yeah. Battle ball. Hmm. Some rank sixes and level one. Yeah. Um, I don't have their soul peacemaker. Yeah, he can do his thing. Yeah, Battle ball, fantastic card, but not against every deck. Go ahead, and negate um, it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, it is what I was fearing of with this matchup. The Chimera tech just being way too much of a clear any machine. Yeah, ne next round, I'll probably be a little lighter on him. Ooh, more stuff. Cool. Panzer Dragon. That's why uh, That's why I, it's almost needed for you to run Clockwork Town. Clock Town. Because yeah. you can basically do that with against almost any deck, essentially. Yeah, and I do have three copies of it in this deck, full disclosure. Haven't drawn one, but I haven't needed them either. Yeah. All right, so we attack, we activate. Whee! All right. And the rematch. This time, I'm still gonna go second because I feel like I'm still better. Yeah, second. force me to go first again. That's reasonable. Oh gosh, that is not an ideal hand for a turn one Cyber Dragon. Um, what would I like to add to my hand is my question. I can add a core to potentially search me more pieces. I can grab a Noxter to desperately hope I get something else next turn. Um, I think it's going to be core. So I can put something on the field. It's not going to be a good field, but it's going to be something. So normal summon the core. With the core, I can search probably emergency. So I can just add something freely to my hand. Yeah, that's going to be the play. Or I can do an overflow. And banish stuff and field or graveyard. Well, I don't have any cyber dragons yet, so cyber emergency it is for next turn. Obviously, that's how I got into the position in the first place, but I am just stalling. So, we're gonna put out all Mirage, because that's just what I happen to have in this deck. We can then use a repair plant and add another one to my hand, another card, which I might as well do in case I draw a repair plant next turn. Add a light machine monster from deck to hand. Yep, we will grab a Noxter. Which could be mildly used here. Like, I could desperately stretch out a play here if I needed to. But I'm going to try not doing that. Because, as we've seen with Battle Ball included, with Kaijus included, your deck does play reactively. It also can bring out big scary monsters by itself. But I don't think 8,000 attack points of big scary monsters by itself. So we'll just run right there. Alright, let's see. Yeah, Almira is not really being a very helpful one card to go into, but... It's core in the graveyard. Okay, okay, let me see. Alright, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to summon my Ancient Gear box. Ha! Huh, okay. Why isn't it work? Do you have something negating me or anything? What are you trying to do? I can normally add Battle Ball using this effect. Or, the, or one of the equipment. You need to draw Ancient Gear box to get his effect to go off. Right. Or you need to add it to your hand. Yeah, Ancient Gear, but what's he doing in there just to get Battle Ball, I he guess? He was a suggestion. I was looking at, like, different, like, decks for Super Heavy Samurai, and he was a, a very consistent card that was in all of them. All right, how do you search him? I... Hmm. Oh, I think... <laughs> oh, one of the... I can search him out using... Because he's an Earth Machine, I can search him out using one mm -hmm. of the uh, equip spells. One of the equip monsters. Okay. So yeah, next time you get the chance, search him, and then as you add him to the hand, you'll get another search out of it. Yeah. Normally for Ancient Gears, it's just to get an extra piece of material. Um, I don't see how extra material is that helpful to you, but... No, he's mainly meant to search out the Soul Peacemaker, that's why. Okay. I feel like all the ca same cards that search that could search him, though, and you're just adding one piece of material to your yeah, hand. To be fair, anyway. I didn't really have that good of a hand either. Yeah. My hand is fine, it's just also a very, like, reactive hand. But, now that I was able to search an Oxter and, you know, recover my Cyber Emergency, I have a playable hand. And we got a Machine Dupe drawn? Hello. Okay. Um, I guess there's no reason for me not to activate Core right here. And Special Summon a Cyber Dragon of some kind. Do I want Veer for any particular reason? Special Summon from your hand. 
So no, I don't think I need it. I could do a regular Cyber Dragon. I could do a Hares, um, meaning I wouldn't need to search Hares here, but I'm gonna be sending Hares to the graveyard anyway. So why not? Um, oh, can I just banish a Cyber Dragon to summon a Cyber Dragon and search more cards? I've never tried doing that before, but let's see. No, it has to be normal summon to do that, but I do have Machine Dupe, so nothing is really lost here. We will now use our Cyber Emergency, and that will allow me to get a Hares. Lovely, lovely. Um, any particular... Okay, what is the proper way to use hairs right now? If he's sent to the graveyard, I add a Cyber Dragon from deck to hand. Okay, so that's just more material in general. When I have Power Bond, it is a good card to have. So we're going to use Noxter right here, send that to the graveyard. Noxter will come out, get his effect off. Hers will get his effect off, getting a Cyber Dragon to the hand. Noxter will then... Uh, okay, so it just gets a summon effect like that. That's perfectly fine by me, because we're just going to use our no machine dupe. We'll use it on him, so he has at least some purpose. Shut up. Our watch is talking to me. Apologizing for something. Everything is fine. We are going to then go into that. We have a bunch of old Cyber Dragons on the field. We can do other things. Um, is there a point of doing said other things? I don't think it's entirely necessary. Let's do a Power Bond play today. Using that, we can go into a Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. Might as well use One Piece on the field. We will use the core because it can do that. And I could continue uh, getting more cards out to destroy more of your back row, but that is a little bit unnecessary. So we'll just go for that and that to get ourselves Rampage Dragon. You are typing rather aggressively, by the way. And then we shall... Let's see. He can use that. And how many attacks does he get? A bunch. Am, um, I, wor just to... Am I working now? Hello? I think so, yeah. My, uh, my mic disconnected again. Uh, I was, well, good thing I was talking aggressively. Yeah, no, I was, I was, I was typing to you. Mike is unplugged. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this field. Okay, so just to, because we're already winning this, regardless, we're gonna go into uh, one of these guys. Why not? Uh, and then we can go into one of these guys. Why not? Activate its effect to then get myself yet another thing. I will get the Noxter out with this effect. Lovely. We'll use that effect to then get another Cyber Dragon out. If I had done this with uh, keeping that zone open instead of putting that guy in there, then I could get a uh, a little bit more of a benefit by getting my Seeger into place. But we'll just use it for the Seeger. That's perfectly fine as well. And with my many attacks of a Rampage Dragon, I guess I might as well use him. There we go. Sending cards to the graveyard. How about some of these good ones? There we go. He has multiple attacks. And he will go to attack now attack and with your multiple attacks deal 8,400 damage or 6,300 <laughs> it doubles the original attack thankfully for you uh, not that it matters yeah I had a I had an option what to do next turn but fortunately I misread what gearbox did but I didn't so if you want to know what my hand was it was two <laughs> of the equipped monsters which are okay to start off with Samurai scales, which only would work if I have a samurai, if I have a, a super heavy samurai already in the grave. I have mm -hmm. Banky, the big guy that you normally use other means of special yep. summon, and the infinity track, infinite track anchor drill. My other option was to try to do infinite track drill and then go into Banky, but unfortunately, as you as you saw, I was trying to hoping yeah. to get the soul, the soul peacemaker so that it could have gotten battle ball and potentially had done more. Well, we can run another one since this was just um, Rampage Dragon immediately OTKing. Um, I will go first, as I assume you want to give me. And see what we can make of it. I'm going to use Extravagance. Why not? I have a wonderful extra deck, and I don't want to banish all the cards, so we'll just do three. And with that, we have a Noxter combo, so we're going to go for it. Activate Noxter. Send hairs to the graveyard. That lets me add Cyber Dragon to hand. Um, I suppose in this situation, I also have core. Might as well summon it with a normal summon. Then I can add to my hand. Already have a cyber emergency, so that's not entirely necessary. Um, we can get a rev system. Let's consider what we're going to search with the emergency. I think it might just be another galaxy soldier combo getting that set up. Um, because I don't know the immediate counterplay, um, first turn play for anything else specifically here. Um, now, if I do just do that... And I will have to get rid of light machine monsters, which I don't have an excess of. So, to make sure I have all the material I need, we're going to grab Rev System. As much as I'd like to grab the trap on turn one. So, I'm in this position. We will then use that Cyber Emergency. 
So um, I'm guessing you're gonna oh, yeah, try to end. That to hand. I'm guessing you're gonna try to end with a uh, with an infinity just to try to make sure that you don't. Uh, wanted to, but uh, didn't get exactly what I was planning on. So we're gonna put Seeger on the field, see if that triggers our Veer. It does, but I don't think Veer is going to be enough because it does not change into a level five for this plan. So, do I just be patient, wait with my rev system and uh, hand? Possibly I do, Re realizing I misplayed mildly, and uh, that's okay. So yeah, we'll end turn here. Now's a good chance for you to do something. Still got Seeger out here, so at least a defensive offensive wall. Yeah, so I'm going to go Samurai Magnet. Bringing out the Samurai Magnet, I can bring out another Samurai Magnet. Good start. Now, I do have a level, f a rank 4 option, but it's not that good right now. So instead, I'm going to activate my Soul Peacemaker I have in the hand. That's right. Activating it. I will now bring out... At least I don't have a field to fear Battle Ball. <laughs> you don't, know. So that's given for me. But I think I... Yeah, Super Heavy Samurai, much like any or many decks has specific decks it's good against and some that is not as good against. Um, I do put strong monsters out there, um, but fortunately you can still take something and still get a level six out. Yeah. Uh, okay. But Your mon other decks wouldn't really affect it too much. Yeah, you still have the Yeah, Seeger's still just as much a threat as Seeger as always. Hmm. Yeah. Don't imagine you have any more uh, tuners to throw out on the field to climb further. So, anything else? I'm trying to figure out, like, what is the best thing to do? Oh, also, I had Ancient Gear Ballista as a Link monster, by the way. Search out the gearbox and get that going. Okay, that makes sense then. Yeah, because... If you just have two spare machines on the field, Ballista will get that for you. Mm -hmm. And then let you search a... Um, Nick. Super Heavy Samurai Monster off it. Yeah. Or Battle Ball specifically. Yeah. Not Battle Ball, Soul Peacemaker. Battle Ball is actually one of the few ones. Okay. It's a, one of the few non-Earth machines. It's a dark. Oh, yeah. Machine. Dark. I gotcha. I feel like they did that on purpose because with all the Earth machine stuff, it's like, yeah, we're going to have to do that or else we're just going to lose monsters. Or we're going to, or it's going to sure. be searchable too easily. Gotcha. Well, anything else from you? Let's see. Darn it. All right, so. Sometimes you don't have players. You know? And activate this, which will give me a boost of, of a thousand defense. Okay. And then I'm going to. Um, start step of the battle phase. How about we activate Seeger? Yeah, I was kind of hoping to see what the timing of that was. That's fair. It's worth trying. And like I was a little like surprised that it's like oh it's already doing it okay I guess I better do it um, I, could, I could have been caught off guard you never know e um, but what is my next play now since I still have Seeger out here I can't exactly freely normal summon the Cyber Dragon as I was kind of intending to do but that's okay we still do have a Cyber Dragon core to normal summon and a rev system to put something else on the field so what can core get me to make this all work out um, well we could try a Cyber Load Fusion that sounds kind of fun using monsters on from the Hanum field. I do still need to destroy the uh, Samurai Ogre, but we can probably make that happen. So yeah, let's try a Cyber Load Fusion play. I don't do that enough. Maybe I can once again learn a thing or two. So Cyber Load uh, Fusion is ready to go, but first we'll use, um, there's really not a reason to use a ref system when I have this plan, because Cyber Load Fusion will use um, things from the field and face up banished cards. Oh, okay, so never mind. It's not gonna do anything particularly entirely. So we may as well put our uh, monster on a field, or I guess might as well put a different monster on a field. Let's do Noxter. Does Noxter get some effect? Nice. Never mind, Noxter does not get an effect, but it does count as Cyber Dragon, so this will still do just fine and dandy. And get me the Rampage Dragon. Which not always applicable, being at 2,100 um, attack, but I can use it to destroy your back row which helps it a little bit. And I can also use it to have multiple attacks, which is often very fantastic. So we're gonna send a Harris to the graveyard. Don't think I have done that this turn. Um, we'll send a Core to the graveyard, often beneficial. And I guess I can only send two. 
so we'll make that be the case. Activate the hairs, and I can add to my hand. Um, I guess there's not a problem in having another hairs in my hand, in case I get a Noxter, or I could just do a Veer and have that potential, but sure, we'll do that. Nothing to be immediately used right now anyway, but, you know, as I said, not going to uh, rush the Chimera Techs against you so we can see other ways of beating other decks. And we'll go for a tech. We will use this Seeger, thankfully, that we were able to hold on to to boost the attack of Rampage Dragon. And not win the game right away, but get further. Waiting on you. Uh, yes. So, I was hoping this was going to work. So, activating Soulbane ah. Cannon's effect. Since it's in a graveyard and you activate effect while I control Super Heavy Samurai, I can negate the effect and destroy all monsters on the field, dealing us both a thousand damage. And that's during battle phase. Fun. Okay. Yeah, that's a f this uh, card is older, but it still works beautifully in this deck. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I haven't seen that effect of Soulbang Cannon. I would have not destroyed it if I had Because known. normally but people use Because people regardless. normally use it for the power-up effect. <laughs> I'll end my turn. Ugh. All you. See if you can make that 7,000. Three cards. I'm not as intimidated by Super Heavy Samurais, but you never know. All right. So, I normal summon my infinite track gear. Oh, that's a good start, though. Special summoning my samurai scales. Samurai scales, when it's brought out, I can bring back a monster from the graveyard. Mm -hmm. From the graveyard back to field. Oh, yeah. Come back, battle There's ball. There's your level 10. Okay. Unfortunately, it needs to be all super heavy samurai monsters. But, uh, I did have another level 10 option, Xylo. Or, okay. I was going to say, or you can do your search thing. You have a parent of flirt! Mario, I've been just hinting at it many times, but we have a ban list for a reason, and you ignore it every video. <laughs> this one's just for fun. I never get to bring it out. This one, I never, uh, yeah. I never get to bring this out. With this, uh, with this. Uh, All right, then. Risk. Fine, I'll, I'll beat Baron de Fleur. It's fine. You, also, you honestly could, probably could, because you have a... You yep, ha that's the plan. All right, but Baron de Fleur is just going to attack you directly. Alright. The only other option I had was just Gear Guy Gang X, which just adds a level 4 lower machine monster to the hand. Couldn't go into your Ancient Gear uh, Catapult? I could have, but I don't know if that would have yielded me enough. That's why. Okay. Because that could have been the search you were looking for. Alright, it's time to mess up a Baron de Fleur. Let's go. Don't, don't activate the effect. Okay. No, no, no. I was trying to Good see stuff. if I if it was worth go, going back into Ogre, but no, it isn't. Mm -hmm. All right. What's my initial plan? We can use our Cyber Dragon Core to bring one of these Cyber Dragons back from the graveyard, which is pretty good. Um, I think I will do that. and Or I can just special summon a Cyber Dragon. We'll do that. So that's one. Um, we are then going to normal summon hairs. If you're able to bring out infinity with n without triggering Baron de Fleur and attempt to absorb, then negate and destroy, that would be so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not going to be quite that good. Um, okay, Carter effect is activated. So, we're going to go machine dupe. Force your hand. Did you not get prompted? No, I didn't actually. Oh, is it just monster cards activated? When a um, when a card or effect? No, it should have. Hmm. I don't know. Well, let's keep going. So, we are out of Seegers. Oh no! What happened to? Oh, yeah, the extravagance earlier. That was. That's why. Okay. Anything exceedingly fun here? You can target a card on the field, destroy it. Nice. Um, how can I? protect myself against your infernal doom. Um, maybe with Almirage. Alright, hers gets sent to the graveyard. I get to add more stuff. I think I'm gonna stop that. No, that's not... Okay. Because I know you're gonna get your infinity. I think the timing does work on your favor because you can just keep brain summoning and then just destroy and absorb it. Yes, of course it works in my favor. Yes. So why would you stop that? Because it, st it stops you from getting another thing onto the field. Because okay. you were going to end with more monsters anyway. I guess. You, just, you do destroy when you negate, so you could have just stopped me at Nova. 
You, you but, could choose to not activate Nova. Yeah, but like, um, still I need. All right, all right. We're just going special summon. Uh, let's go for I guess Seeger here. Why not? We have it sitting in there. All righty, and then yeah, we'll go for Infinity. But yeah, the goal was to quick all mirage protect whatever you uh, tried to barrel in the flare target, and I think it might have worked. So. Oh, it would have definitely, since Baron yeah. Defleur, it can negate you, but it wouldn't have destroyed, so. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I'm just trying to keep as much material out here to make it work anyway. Alrighty, battle. All is well. We will attack and attack and attack. And I guess it's more beneficial for me to double that attack, so we will do so. Can't it deal not de deal any... Oh, no, it's Seeger that can't deal direct damage after that. Right, yes. So I'm alive on 100 attack points. Let's go. That's right. I'm going to need a... I'm, I rush need... had 100 damage. I need to draw the kaiju. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even then, you know, between Seeger and uh, Infinity being here and El Mirage, yeah. I think I'm good. Oh, wait, no, I think El Mirage might... No, no, he stays okay. It keeps making me try to activate all mirage, and I'm like, nah, I'm gonna wait. All right, normal summon my other. I don't know why Zylo. Each each time I've had this duel, I've drawn both copies of my infinite tracks. I mean, it's a good card. It's just you need other things. Yeah, and I was gonna bring out my super heavy samurai wagon. That if you didn't get rid of it, would have potentially given me something. But I kind of figured if there was a card you're gonna stop, it was gonna be that. Yeah, two card hands, normal summon. That's what you stop unless you're playing a heavy graveyard deck. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. it's not really a debate to have. All right. Um, I guess let's just do this plain and simple. Uh, anything fun to beat you with? Sure, we'll do a Mega Fleet. Since I have an extra monster zone there, we'll do that to bring out Mega Fleet. Which, I guess I could have done for a little extra damage last time, but Almirage was a little more necessary for protection purposes. So, attack. And finish. So... Good stuff, good attempt. Cyber Dragons were able to show like some of their multi-dimensional ways of beating mm -hmm. you here. Um, nothing too crafty. There's some there other things here that didn't get used. But I did mess up with the Ancient Gear side of it, but the Ancient Gear is mm -hmm. there to support the Earth Machines. Since majority of the uh, Super Heavy Samurai stuff is Earth Machines, so that's why they're in there. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense that that would work. It just I don't feel like it's worth it being in the deck, because... Like, if you're looking for a search, you need to kind of engage a search to get there in the first place. Otherwise, it's just a desperation play mm -hmm. um, to get something that... And you need more things. I anyway. will say the one downside of uh, the whole uh, gearbox is that mm -hmm. it cannot be equipped with the Soul Piece Maker. It can, those equipped monsters can only be equipped to yeah. the... Can only be equipped to the uh, or Super Avery Samurai monsters. So I would need to make sure I had another monster ready to go that can be special summoned right away. Yeah, the whole reason that he's in Ancient Gears is because you can use material from your hand to fuse into big monsters. That being said, he's not even good enough for me to include in an Ancient Gear deck anymore. Mm -hmm. So, so it's it's reasonable, but it's not necessary, I don't think, for you. So I think, you know, just fine-tune into deck so it's more consistent is uh, kind of the angle you need to go. Because obviously the strong monsters and the battle ball and the kaijus, they work wondrously when you get them all. Um, but yeah, the consistency was your error today. But regardless, hopefully you all enjoyed the matchup. See me actually do a couple correct Cyber Dragon plays. And you'll get to see some more in the future. If you have enjoyed, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video when it comes. And we'll see you then. See ya, folks.